Why don't we start with you, Howie, and talk about this Dallas team and how big this win is. This is two in a row for them now, and they're still alive. Two weeks in a row. We talk about the NFC East. This week to week, it seems to kind of go up and down. It's Washington. Is it Philadelphia? With Philadelphia going on the road to New Orleans today, that's a big game. Big underdogs down there. Alex Smith going out for Washington. Dallas is now seemingly in the driver's seat for the NFC East, which is well, the, you know, mind-boggling. It's interesting you look at the numbers, Michael. Only 200 yards, 208 officially, and no mm -hmm. touchdowns. But this is what we talked about in the pregame show. They ran the ball today. They ran the ball. You know, Zika Elliott, 23 for 122 and a touchdown. But they did what they needed to do, especially at the end of the game, to advance the ball down the field to put themselves in field goal position. But... It wasn't, we thought they would probably do a little bit more against this Atlanta Falcons defense that's had some trouble stopping some people. But in that division, in the NFC East, it is wide open. Redskins now, you know, they're tied with Dallas possibly at the end of the day for, first, for the first place in that division. Uh, my Giants are out of it. <laughs> I refuse to believe they're out of it. But I'm just, it just feels like in this division, anything can happen. If Dallas keeps plugging along, they may find themselves in the playoffs. Yeah, you know what? Defensively, though, I mean, I don't make no mistake about it. I look at this team, and yeah, they can run the football as equal. But as far as on offense, it's it's not that. It's defense that's going to keep the, this team winning. They mm -hmm. put great pressure on Matt Ryan all day. Got to him three times in that first half. Demarcus Lawrence had uh, two sacks. If you can do that with the with the offense, you're right. Who knows what can happen? With How about that, Eli? One incompletion all day. Two touchdown passes. Two weeks ago, ten days ago, we had written the Giants off and. And Eli. And Eli. And Eli, yeah. exactly. Yeah, yeah. Odell said they could run the table. Michael, mm. two for two so far. Odell could mm. be um, could be <laughs> yeah. onto something. Got a lot of people upset going, if you run the table and don't win the division, what's the point? We lose the first pick. But, um, you know, <laughs> Eli, put, Eli put it best. Not perfect. They are not perfect. But one thing that was perfect today, zero turnovers. Barkley, I mean, what an incredible player th this young guy is. Uh, you just get the ball in Saquon Barkley's hand as many times as possible. He makes great things that happen. There, he can catch the ball out of the backfield. He's powerful inside running. Incredible balance. Can get around the edge, throw the little stanky leg up there as he's running. <laughs> stanky leg. Little stanky leg. And then they're just stretching out for the end zone. Shows how much he wants and can help this offense. And one thing I love, there was a touchdown celebration. He had 23 guys come off the bench and celebrate with this team. Interception by Ogletree, gets up, runs it in. Guys, he's breaking tackles. Guys is blocking, setting up things. 23 guys coming over there. That's a big picture. Yeah, that's a big picture. You know what it shows? It shows that they're having fun. You just wish they would have had this fun a little bit earlier. Maybe it would have transferred, translated to some wins early in the season. Hey, coach happened. deserves some credit. Uh, having yeah. some fun. I mean, they played the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Hey, let's let's, hey, come on. let's pump the brakes just, uh, just a little bit right there. I hey, mean, my, my big brother used totally to beat me agree. up. Don't celebrate. Yeah. You're no, bigger than that. They beat the 49ers. The beating the 49ers <laughs> on the road was more impressive. Are they pros? They, then they are they pros? Hey, they need they, they need are. they need there we go. to turn it around. And, and, Eli yeah. and I think I think so confident boys, builders. boys, boys. But what about Odell Beckham? Odell Beckham, mm -hmm. I mean, they did what they did. Their big players played well. Eli, uh, Saquon Barkley, and then Odell Beckham had a pretty decent game today. Four catches, seventy-four yards. Uh, made some incredible catches. And, you know, that, that emotionally, when, when he's going, he gets that team going. It seems like they're a reflection of him and how he's playing the game. And they look good there. Like you said, they're having fun. He says they're going to run the table. He, that's his goal. But goals are great. There's nothing wrong with goals. I like goals. <laughs> but they can't yeah, play better be defensively. They gave up yeah. over 500 yards and just let Tampa get back in the game when they shouldn't have. Hey, four weeks ago, this team was in disarray, mm -hmm. you know, really. And I think Pat Shermer deserves some credit. I, I really do. And I, I think, you know, Saquon's a lot like Zeke. He mm -hmm. kind of drives that offense when he's running the football and using, utilizing him as a receiver. Also, it sets up and it opens up other things in the offense. You know the other thing about Pat Shermer? Remember a year ago this team was kind of in the same boat. One, two wins this late in the season. And guys were sniping, getting suspended. They were having all kinds of trouble inside that locker room. You haven't seen that, and you pointed out. 23 guys celebrating together. Whether they wind up running the table or not, this team is still yeah. together, and I think that does go back yep. to the change in culture with the head coach under Pat Agreed. Shermer. This is the sixth game this year that New Orleans has scored more than 40 points. Ooh. Ties the NFL record. <laughs> and, what, they've still got six games left to play to try and break it here. I mean, they just keep putting up points week after week. And, and Michael, I'll ask you, 
Yes, we have the Rams and Chiefs playing Monday night football, but is this the best team in football right now? It looks like it because I think their defenses are playing better than the defense of the Rams and, and also of the Chiefs. And we said they scored 40-something points a day, and they took their foot off the gas. They could have scored more. But th this is a team that you look at you think, okay, one week, Kamara, he's the man. It's going to beat you off the, out of the backfield. It's going to beat you in the running game. But then you look up and Mark Ingram's running for over 100 yards. Very physical Second runner. week in a row. And then you have Michael, Michael um, Thomas. He's yeah. catching the ball as a receiver. He's the one that's going to beat you. Then Traquan Smith shows up yeah. out of nowhere. Brandon Marshall's still on the sideline waiting for later in the season to come get you when you're tired. He has fresh legs. So Drew Brees is, as TB said, the most accurate passer. And more than that, he is one of the best leaders in the NFL because the, the piece we had in the pregame show, all the defensive guys talked about Drew Brees more than they talked about their own defense. And I think accountability is important to him, and these guys are buying into it. He's never won an MVP, Tony. Is this the year? I think so. I think right now, it obviously is between Patrick Mahomes and him at this point right now. It may be Gurley out there play, <laughs> playing running back for the Rams. But what he does to that locker room, and I've seen it up close and personal. I've played in the NFC South every time, especially when you go to that dome, if the road has to go through the playoffs, uh, it, through their dome, they are going to be almost unbeatable the way that I've never seen their team look like how it looks right now. You, if, if you tell your defense, just hold them less to 40 points, yeah. less than 40 points, <laughs> you're going to win the game. It just, it just looks incredible. It's here's, so much fun to watch. Here's the difference with this team. You know, it, they've been like this before where they're so difficult to beat down in New Orleans. They went to Baltimore. They went to Cincinnati and just dropped a dime on them. Uh, this team can travel. The running game travels. Their protection. They've given up nine sacks in ten games over the course of the year. Nine sacks. I think 15 hits. Mm -hmm. That's unbelievable. Mm -hmm. Those well, numbers are incredible. If you, you ask yourself, <clears throat> why this year? Last year it was, why is it Philadelphia? Mm -hmm. And what's happened to Philadelphia? Right. You go through all of the scenarios. And then you look at the Saints. This, this, this league is built on momentum, especially if you have a quarterback. And they have the quarterback. And, 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 you know what, I hope he wins the MVP. You know, he deserves it right now. Mahomes, is, we'll all say he's got plenty coin here. flip. Yeah. They're voting for this. But it, the, the thing is, they got their momentum going. They won big games, as you said, on the road, which yes. is critical for a team when they want to measure their development and progression through the season. They've won big games on the road. They're running it. They're throwing it. And... Hats off to Sean Payton. In the last two drafts, the thing he knew he needed to get was defense. And, boy, they have got together and put together a defense. And you said this Smith kid, he's a second-round pick yeah. out of Ohio State, this wide receiver who had over 140 yards yeah. receiving today. Yeah. He's a rookie. So they just fill them in. They keep it going. And they're on the road, and they've got the momentum. Very similar to what we saw last year with and the Eagles. And Dennis Allen's got them playing on defense. Yep. Yeah. And yeah. That's the key. We've seen them yep. roll offensively before, but never, never. play defense yeah. like they this combined with defense. it. Washington playing without their starting quarterback, Alex Smith. We talked about the gruesome injury, already having surgery. Uh, that was certainly something nobody wanted to see. Yeah, absolutely. You know, he went in for surgery for a broken tibia and fibula. As you said, emergency surgery to help stave off infection, try and stabilize the leg. They are already contacting veteran quarterbacks to bring them in tomorrow because, as you said, they're playing the Dallas Cowboys on Thursday. Cowboys, they had a little scare today with their Pro Bowl left tackle. Tyron Smith went down with a neck injury, but they said it's just a stinger. He should be good to go for Thursday. on Johnson, running back for Detroit Lions, he went down with a knee injury today, has an MRI. Right tomorrow. Right now, they're holding out hope that it's not a torn ACL. For the Tennessee Titans, rough game for them against the Indianapolis Colts. First, uh, Marcus Mariota, he goes down with an elbow injury, had an elbow injury earlier in the season, affected his nerve. And then a scary moment there where their defensive coordinator, Dean Pease, he had to get taken out of the game, out of the press box in the first quarter, taken to a local hospital where he will stay overnight for precautionary measures. Mike Vrabel had to call the game the rest of the game. He said he should be okay, but obviously our thoughts are with Dean Pease. And finally here, guys. Lamar Jackson, spectacular game today. John Harbour, their head coach, he said exactly that. Spectacular should be the Lamar Jackson show from here on out. Got All it. right, thanks a lot, Jay. Guys, let's wrap things up with who won the day, starting with you, Tony Gonzalez. Uh, I'm going to go with Lamar Jackson, just like uh, our, our little man just said. Um, th they <laughs> he looked awesome coming in his first start, first uh, uh, quarterback to ever rush for 100 yards in his first game. 
hats off to them. That is their quarterback of the future. That is their quarterback of the future. And I'm going to say the New York Giants, particularly Saquon Barkley, oh. in, the of, in the midst of a tough season, this there kid. Are other teams in this league. But I'm just, no, no, no. I'm <laughs> in the midst of a tough season, this kid has played well week in and week out. He became the first um, New York Giant rookie since Butch Wolfork in 85. The rest for rushing TD and a passing TD, receiving TD in the what game. What's been missing in Indianapolis, the Andrew Luck tenure? Offensive line. Fifth straight game with zero sacks. It's May, a different story. A great turnaround. I'm going with – I have to go with Drew Brees in New Orleans with the mm. Saints, my MVP right now. He's just – i never seen a quarterback play quite like this. And I'm going to say we won the day because on the pregame show today, we had kids from the Thousand Oaks Titans yes. football yeah. team, more than half a dozen affected <laughs> by the fires. Some directly had relatives in the mass shooting a couple of weeks ago, but they came today, had smiles on their faces, and showed us the joy that young kids can still have in the midst of tragedy. Absolutely. We will see you on the Thanksgiving, Titans, folks. Baby.